Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and welcome to Sound Explained Phase. In a couple of the previous Sound Explained videos, we looked at amplitude and frequency, which are both fundamental properties of single cycle waveforms. In those videos, I explained that amplitude relates to the loudness of a waveform, and frequency relates to the pitch of a waveform. Phase is also a fundamental property of single cycle waveforms. But unlike amplitude and frequency, it's not related to something you can hear when that waveform is played on its own as a sound wave. You can hear that as I change the phase of the saw wave, the sound doesn't change at all. Regardless of what I set the phase to, it sounds exactly the same. However, when I layer the saw wave with a square wave, and then change the phase of the saw wave while leaving the square wave's phase alone, you will be able to hear a difference in the combination of these waveforms. I can even get the layered saw and square wave to sound just like a saw wave, which is pretty interesting. So the phase of a waveform doesn't really make a difference when that sound is played on its own. But it does make a difference when you have a number of sounds playing together, because it can change how those sounds relate to each other. And sometimes certain phase relationships are more favorable than others. For example, you may have heard about phase cancellation. Phase cancellation is usually not desirable in a song so you'd want to avoid phase relationships that cause phase cancellation. And I'll look into phase cancellation more in the next Sound Explained video. But for now, let's talk about what exactly phase is. So with single cycle waveforms, as the name suggests, we have a single cycle that defines the waveform. And this one cycle is simply repeated over and over to create the sound we hear. Sine waves, saw waves, and square waves are all examples of single cycle waveforms. If you play any of these for a duration of time, you will see that the waveform is a repeating pattern, and one section of that pattern is a single cycle of the waveform. What phase indicates is where you are in the cycle of a single cycle waveform at a given time. So if we look in the playlist, we have a sample of a sine wave. I'm going to isolate a section of the waveform that contains only a single cycle of the sine wave to demonstrate phase. So this is a single cycle at its original phase. And you can see in the full waveform, that single cycle just repeats itself over and over throughout. Now if I move the whole waveform relative to this section, you will see that this isolated section will begin and end at a different point in the cycle. And therefore it will be at a different phase. I can keep moving it the same direction, and continue changing the phase, but eventually I will move it so far that it looks the same as it did originally. <laughs> 
This happens because the single cycle repeats throughout the duration of the waveform. When one cycle ends, the next cycle begins. And so right now, we are at the beginning of the next cycle in that waveform. Now let's take a look at two sine waves that are exactly the same. They have the same amplitude and frequency, start at the same time, and are at the same phase. And you can see this better when I overlay the two. You know, they look exactly the same. If I move one of these samples slightly, however, you can see that the waveforms don't align anymore. And this means the two waveforms are at different phases. If I continue to move the waveform, I can actually get the waveforms to line up again. So even though one of these has been moved in time, the independent cycles are at the same phase. And this happens for the same reason I mentioned before. When one cycle ends, the next cycle begins, and these two waveforms can align again. So phase is somewhat related to time. If you adjust the timing of an audio sample, you will end up changing the phases of the different sine waves that make up that audio sample. It isn't completely related to time, though, because in a synthesizer, for example, you can change the phase independently of the time by changing what is called the starting phase. The starting phase just tells the synthesizer what point in the cycle to start your waveform at when you play a note. So if you look at these two waveforms here, they have the same amplitude and frequency, start at the same time, but are at different phases. And you can see this when I overlay them. You know, they're at the same frequency, they have the same amplitude, and they start at the same time. Uh, the only difference between these two waveforms is their starting phase. And if I wanted to, I could adjust the timing of one of these to get them to align and be at the same phase. And you can see just changing that time um, a little bit has caused them to align. Even though Originally, they were at different starting phases. So that is a basic explanation of phase. Hopefully all of that made sense, and you now have a decent understanding of what we mean when we talk about the phase of a waveform. In the next video, I will be taking a look at how we measure phase, or how we indicate a specific phase of a waveform.